So, uh, are we alive? Oh, okay, so sorry, I put up uh, So, hello everybody, bonsoir from France. So France has taken over Games on Quick. Uh, happy Independence Day, of course, to all Americans. I've got the American flag uh, in the back. Uh, we will be running Trackmania Sunrise, second Trackmania game to be released back in 2005. That was 19 years ago. Time flies. And I will be shortly presenting the category because it will be very packed, especially on the uh, puzzle part. So, we're going to play two game modes that are not very usual in the Trackmania a franchise which is a simulation arcade uh, racing game we've got the puzzle a game mode where we will be playing through uh, 33 tracks so trackmania is known for its in-game map editor so this was the editor back in 2005 the goal will be to build uh, some uh, routes and uh, drive as fast as possible in order to climb some medals right now i will need to do the this uh, puzzle uh, part in any percent so i will only need to get all the silver medals and 10 gold medals but if you reach the incentive during the run i will need to get all of the medals i might come back to some tracks if the incentive is made during the run. The routes can also change on some of the tracks because we need to optimize mapping time and driving time. And then we'll have a stunt uh, portion, which will be uh, very different and uh, very nice. So uh, without further ado, I am uh, ready to go in five, four, three, two, one, go. So welcome to- And uh, I have a very exciting- I'm oh, yep. sorry to break in. I have a super exciting announcement. We have met that incentive. We are going to do the puzzle 100% plus stunts, any percent run. Thank you. Thank you very much. So this track, the offer medal is a bit hard. So I just switched to keyboard. I don't know why. I will go back to that track to get the offer medal because it's a bit difficult. But we have already started uh, building uh, the track. So we, you have different uh, strategies that you can use. I'm using the numpad to switch uh, between blocks. And uh, it's very important to optimize the uh, building time uh, on uh, this uh, category. This is why it's so different from other track many uh, categories. I think that I slid out a bit right there. So I'm not going to get the offer medal. I'm just going to restart this one because it's a bit of an uh, easy one. So I'm just uh, putting the two boosters next to one another because, oh, sorry, I'm a bit. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I need to, to stay focused. I'm not uh, keeping the boosters next to, uh, to one another because you would get a less acceleration from it. I'm a, <laughs> it seems like I am a, a bit um, a bit sweating, but uh, this will... Uh, oh, definitely we've, we've got some weird action with the game uh, right there. So this is the uh, island car. Okay, let's, uh, let's go back into, uh, into the truck. And... We got, I think we got it. Oh no, we're missing only 1,100. So let's go again. It's not easy when, when you're shaking, but I, I will feel, uh, feel better in just a, a couple of seconds. I wasn't expect, expecting on, on this track, but it's a bit uh, a bit too precise. There you go, we finally got it, nice. All right, so uh, we are, uh, we'll be switching uh, to uh, the uh, further track. So this is divided in sections of uh, five uh, maps. Uh, so we will be uh, going through three different cars. Right there, we'll be using the strat for a video for middle, which is not uh, intended uh, by the developers. This is a bit of a faster strat. I will get it first right, perfect, so I can save up a bit of time. So I just bump into a wall in order to fly into the finish. After that, we have a track with a lot of uh, elevation changes. So we're going to use two types of blocks, these uh, this, uh, hill blocks and the uh, straight uh, blocks. So I'm just going to place all of the blocks right there. And this is not the optimal path for what we call, uh, but this is a safe path. Uh, so you really want to optimize the uh, mapping time and uh, the driving time in this category, which very uh, sets it apart from all of the uh, track minus speed run categories. And which is why I like this category so much, especially for any percent, where on some tracks we'll only place a couple blocks uh, because it will be enough to uh, get the uh, silver medal requirement. Uh, this one will be another track where uh, the offer medal is uh, a bit tricky because in uh, Trackmania uh, you can have uh, some um, landing bugs. So the game is uh, deterministic, which means if you do exactly the same input, you will get, uh, you will get exactly the same result. But sometimes the game is a bit messy, just like this, for example, there you go. Uh, I just barely missed the jump, I was full accelerating and the game decided to just make me uh, do a front flip. So this is what can happen uh, in this game. 
I'm going to do an air break right there in order to land flat. I'm missing it by a three uh, hundred of a second. So I will come back to it at the end of the puzzle section, just going through all of the tracks. Uh, after that, we will uh, be uh, going to another car, which is uh, the uh, island car, um, a very uh, faster paced uh, car, as you will see. Right there, we are using a concave and convex blocks just to show you that you can build transitions in a Trackmania. This metal is very easy. Some of your other metals will be uh, much uh, harder to, to get, uh, which is why the incentive uh, should have been um, in, uh, increased by about 10 minutes. This one very easy. We just want to go as fast as possible to the finish line. So we're going to go into the straightest line possible to uh, the first uh, checkpoint. So Trackmania is a game made of uh, checkpoints. So you have a starting block, some checkpoints, and then a finish line. Or you can have as well a multiple of finish lines. And you uh, need to uh, get into a very finish line as fast as possible. Uh, this track is very interesting because you need to build up a specific amount of speed in order to uh, make uh, the jump. I'm going to play it on keyboard and not on controller right there because I had some weird issues on controller where I lost the gears. In this game, you have a gear, a gear system uh, with um, different uh, gears. On the regular Trackmania, uh, it's uh, usually five gears, but on some of these cars, you can have way more than five gears. And usually in Trackmania, you don't want to steer when you have a gear shift. Right there, I was a bit unlucky. I hit the finish, which was not enough for the upper middle. So I'll go through it again and just uh, release uh, a little bit uh, at uh, the uh, ending of the map. So Trackmania is a game where you can play with a wide um, range of uh, input devices. Most people play on a control pad, but you also have a lot of uh, competitive players that play uh, with, a control, with a keyboard with only four keys. Right there, I got it right there just by releasing. Nice. And you can also play with a steering wheel, uh, just like Granady, which is a German player uh, that is uh, very well known within the Trackmania community. And right there, we're switching to one of the um, more terrible maps in terms of mapping, because you have a lot of uh, different uh, blocks uh, to place, and you have to build the smoothest top path uh, possible so that you keep contact with the ground. Because time that is not spent um, on the ground is time that you are not accelerating. So this is, is this is going to be a bit of an unsmooth transition. And right there, I can just let my hands up high because this is a press forward map. If you don't know what press forward maps are in Checkmana, these are maps where you just press forward. And with the editor, some uh, people have been able to make some crazy stunts. So if you've seen some viral Checkmana videos on the internet, it was probably some press forward maps. Uh, this map will be very easy, only uh, going to use uh, four uh, different uh, platform blocks on a, a very flat surface. We have a downhill right there, which we're going to reuse uh, right after uh, getting through uh, this uh, checkpoint. As we will uh, climb up here, do a bit of a blind jump, just aiming for the mountain in the distance. So this is set in a Pacific uh, theme. You will also see some buildings as well uh, with uh, the uh, island car. This car can easily slide out, so you have to be very smooth uh, with the steering, which is why a controller is uh, preferred uh, than a keyboard. But on some other cars, it's completely fine to play uh, with a keyboard. So we got all of the middle driver on this one. And now we'll switch to the third car of uh, this uh, game. So this game, as I said, was the second uh, track mining game uh, released back in 2005. It introduced uh, three new cars after the original, original game back in 2003. And this is probably one of the weirdest track mining cars uh, where it uh, slides out very, very uh, easily. And uh, this car, uh, it's set in the French uh, Riviera, in the Côte d'Azur. And uh, yeah, it's uh, very difficult to uh, handle. On the next track, you will uh, need to be uh, very precise uh, with placing the different blocks. We have six different uh, block types, but I think we're only going to uh, use uh, four uh, of them. Uh, so I'm going to place up all of the blocks right there. And I have to be uh, very careful not to miss a block because I will only re realize that on uh, the uh, driving part. And this will be very important on uh, the later tracks, as you will see that you, we will need to do a lot of driving. Sadly, on this game, the pointer that you see, the yellow pointer, is not removable, so I need to put it away uh, from the screen if I can think of it uh, during the run. And next track is one of the hardest in terms of uh, mapping, because you have to uh, remember uh, a very precise uh, sequence of uh, blocks uh, on uh, where uh, to place them. Uh, so I'm trying to uh, not uh, mess it up. Uh, this one should go here, here. And this is also a hard one uh, for uh, the author middle. So I might just drive it once and then come back to it uh, at the end of uh, this uh, puzzle uh, section. 
But if I could get it first five, that would be uh, absolutely amazing. And we have time for two donations. Wonderful. I have a $1,000 donation from Archive. And it says, the older Trackmania games have some very interesting game modes. It's cool to see them here at SGDQ. We also have $500 from Anonymous that says Trackmania or bust. Thank you so much for those incredibly generous donations. And also just very, very quickly wanted to say that we have a new incentive open for our Rabbit and Steel run, which is the four player Lunar Red Dark House. If met, the runners will showcase a Lunar difficulty run, which is very hard, of the Red Dark House stage after the main Rabbit and Steel run. So go ahead and get those donations in. Back to you, Rasta. Uh, I just missed it by two tenths, but we're going to come back to this track a bit later on so that we can switch to the others. Uh, next one is going to be on the left line. On this one, we're going to place a very few blocks. Uh, few blocks on the any percent route we only need to place um, uh, three blocks but just to be safe for uh, the 100 uh, percent route i'm going to place a couple uh, more uh, blocks because the first checkpoint is placed on the ground but the second one is placed in the air so you do need a couple of blocks uh, to reach it i'm gonna have to be very careful the car just did out right there so gonna have to respawn and i uh, try to uh, get it clean so we've got some nice soundtrack on this game with some um, with a couple songs. Up, oh, okay, we got it. Okay, and we need to finish within a 15 seconds something. 15, 19 should be enough. I don't have my light speed on the side, so I can't uh, really check for the times. I forgot to set that up. Now we are back to Tangram 2, which is very similar to Tangram 1 that we played before. Uh, to get the Alpha Medal, we're going to place two additional blocks compared to the any percent route, which are these two blocks, which will allow us to uh, go faster into uh, the checkpoint. This could save up to uh, one second. And I'm going to tap the acceleration in the corner uh, right there. Try to not hit, because this car, as I said, can easily slide out. So I'm going to release very early here and then we'll accelerate. I don't think this is going to be enough for uh, off a medal, but we might come back to it if needed. 2319 should be all right by a few. Yep, we just got it. Nice. So we can switch back uh, to Brainstorm, which is going to be the fourth part uh, of the run. We are going back uh, to uh, Bay. Uh, up. Wait. Uh, did it work? Probably. Well, uh, we'll check. Uh, nope, okay, I just forgot one a single a block right there. Very important to put a red block so that you don't have the fence at the end. I'm gonna up, stop accelerating, then keep accelerating again and finish in 5 seconds 73. This is probably the shortest track. Didn't get 80, so I can uh, retry that. Try to uh, release uh, a bit less. Up, release, boom, re accelerate, and now you can see that it will be a bit faster. 560, which is a pretty decent time. And uh, we will uh, be uh, switching to a uh, mini G3. Uh, this is also a bit of a nightmare to map. You only have two uh, different kind of uh, blocks, but you have a lot of uh, elevation change, a lot of uh, scroll uh, wheel uh, usage. Uh, so I'm going to place all of these blocks uh, like uh, this. And we are only two people running this run uh, at the moment. We just uh, uh, optimized uh, the building uh, and uh, the uh, driving time part. And the fun fact, we live exactly in the same city uh, in France. Didn't get to meet yet. So shout out to uh, Ventilator, uh, of course, who has also been running this category. And some other people have also been uh, running it because last year we organized a huge event for the 10 year, uh, 20 year anniversary of Trackmania. So yeah, this license is already 21 years old. Maybe some of you have discovered the license uh, through Trackmania Nations Power, which was a free-to-play game uh, released back in 2008. There was also Trackmania Nations ESWC back in 2006. And now with this uh, new track, we will uh, find a new uh, mechanic called uh, Tunnels. So I'm just uh, going to be very careful right there. So this is a very precision-based uh, um, uh, run. I am not very good at precision, as you may have noticed of, on one of the first tracks. Uh, the nerves just uh, uh, were uh, pretty high. Uh, so number five is going to be this uh, downhill bug that I will place here. I'm going to not forget uh, to place um, a block uh, at the exit of uh, the tunnel uh, right there, else uh, it's not uh, gonna work. There you go. And now we should have more than enough blocks to get uh, the uh, off the middle. With the any percent route, it's, uh, you just place a bit less blocks in order to reduce the building time. You could still get the off the middle uh, with the any percent route, but it's uh, a bit harder. So I'm just using this route instead so that I don't have to release that there. And I can smash myself into the wall and then drive straight into the finish. 
which is what we could call a wall ride. It's not a vertical wall ride, but at least it's an horizontal wall ride. Uh, this next track is going to be RNG first. As I said, this game is deterministic, which means that if you do exactly the same inputs, you have exactly the same results. But it's a bit of a chaos theory game, where if you have slightly different inputs, you can have a very, very different outcomes, which is what uh, we could uh, see uh, right there. I will try to get it first try. So this is uh, the next jump that is going to be very, very hard because you have to aim pretty well and then you can have, you can have some weird stuff happening to the car. I'm going to release a bit and then just hope to make the jump. Okay, I made it. The car is very bouncy. It's a 4x4 SUV. Uh, so a fa familiar car, but very lightweight and bouncy. And the camera is also giving you motion sickness uh, on this track a lot. So I hope you're not getting a DV. And then we might get a bunny hop from the car. Oh, no, that was just a tiny bunny hop. But this should be more than enough uh, for the open middle. My bad, we missed it by three hundreds of a second. We'll come back to it later uh, once we are done with all of the tracks. Uh, this track, very, very, very interesting, called Aim for the Top. Uh, as you can see, the uh, finish is uh, very high. Let me count those straight. So we can use uh, these ramps in order to hit uh, ourselves into the air. Uh, you have the world because strategy on this track is absolutely insane. It uses a bug called the Uber bug, which uh, some people from the Trackmania community might know, and that is the most prevalent uh, in Trackmania Stadium, uh, the uh, main environment. But right there, we, there you go. We're just going to flip into the air. Same here, we're going to do the same thing. Do uh, this uh, backflip and then go straight into a finish line. On the second jump, I could have gone uh, straightly into a finish line, but you can have as well some bugs. And I decided not to uh, risk it since I lost already quite a bit of time uh, on uh, the start of the run. Uh, this is one of the tracks where we optimize the uh, build uh, the most. We only place um, just a couple of blocks. These are, of course, not the optimal alliance for a world record, where you place almost all of the building blocks. But this will be more than enough to get uh, the uh, 80 medal. This game was uh, developed by Nadio, I think I said it, a French studio. Um, and yeah, the community uh, in this game is very nice. It's very based on a community uh, um, partage, uh, just sharing maps. We have some community website to share maps. We have some com uh, community competition as well. Uh, very friendly community. So if you've never played Trackmania, you can uh, give it a go. It's uh, very encouraged. It's a pretty hard to pick up game, easy to... Uh, to um, Easy to play, but hard to master, to, to be honest. Uh, right there, okay, this is the booster that I need uh, to uh, place. So this is the strat that I use for 100%. It's faster than any percent, but the building takes a bit more time. We're going to do 180 right there. And we're going to need approximately 12.03 seconds, which is going to be done uh, right so. Uh, after that, we will switch to a drunken uh, tunnel. So another map with some tunnels. I'm going to enable uh, the uh, tunnel uh, game mode with uh, the uh, W uh, key and uh, then uh, play uh, this track. Uh, on this track, the world record strat is also a bit crazy. It does uh, some uh, Ubo bugs as well, because as you will see, uh, on the next part, we are driving on grass and we are instantly slowed down uh, by a lot. I didn't land super flat, so I'm not sure if this will be 80. I could uh, drive it again because this is a very easy map. I will surely get a second try. Uh, this uh, would never happen, like I would never fail it twice. Surely never happens with marathon runs. And then I just aim straight like this, get a good landing, air brake in order to stabilize the car. This is very useful uh, in a trackman game to press the brake button. And there you go, saving over half a second just by getting a, a much cleaner uh, landing. After that, we've got a track called the left speed. So the first track was called the right speed. Now it's the left speed. And uh, same here, we're just going to build as much speed as we can in an overall pattern. So maybe there are some NASCAR fans in the chat and in the audience at GDQ, so you can uh, cheer uh, if you wish. And now we're just gonna try to remember where to exit. So drive smooth, exit here. Don't go for another round around the clock. Then get enough speed for that jump. Drive on the reverse boosters. Get enough speed and finish the map with the alpha medal. A final map of this block will be a pillar of summer. 
So this one, you have a lot of different strategies to collect the checkpoint. When I discovered the run, I had a lot of trouble to get the upper middle. I was trying to get the uh, checkpoints uh, from uh, this side up to the other side, but the fastest way is indeed to get them uh, just from top to bottom. And we will have to be very careful with landing bugs right there, which can happen, which is why I'm going to do an immediate air break right there. Hope that I don't lose a lot of speed. Hope that I make that jump as well. Nice. And then I can jump here. This is another blind jump that I will have to do right about here. Try not to slide out. Hope that I didn't forget any blocks. And then I will be able to uh, finish uh, that map. And boom. All right. So 2596 with Pillars of Summer. Uh, after uh, that is done, we can go to uh, Mystery. We are back on coast, baby, back in France. Allez, la France. And, and now we have some um, um, roadblocks with holes, which we're going to use to drop down uh, to uh, the checkpoints. At the start, I'm not going to steer for the first second. I'm just here at like, the very first frame. And then I stop steering so that I can have a gear shift. Else, I will lose a lot of speed, because if you steer doing a gear shift, you do lose quite a, quite a tremendous amount of speed. Right there, I have to be a bit careful. I don't think this is going to be enough. I lost quite a bit of speed. I still got it. Nice. So I won't have to come back to that map. Simple line. You have a lot of different strat on uh, that one. Uh, I think the world we could strat use it in all the world. So the blocks don't directly connect into uh, the finish. Uh, okay, I messed up on that part. I used the block number two uh, instead of block number four. So this is why you have to be very careful with the block usage. Same here, I'm going to steer and then not steer for about a second and uh, keep on uh, driving in order to uh, get the uh, early gear shift. Tap acceleration multiple times in order to not slide out. As you can see, even at speeds of 100 km per hour, uh, you uh, can uh, slide out with a coast car. Uh, this uh, one is also very interesting. You have a lot of uh, different uh, solutions for the map. Uh, I'm uh, going to get uh, the uh, checkpoints in uh, this uh, order, which you will uh, soon see. Okay, I forgot this like this, like this, down, 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 down. So we're going to do one, two, four, three uh, from uh, right to left. And I think that what we call does the opposite, but this is very easy to build and to remember. Very easy to slide out apparently as well. So, so here, gonna be careful. What we're gonna do here is use the respawn to do a very fast 180. There you go. And then drive straight into the finish line in 23 seconds flat. We got the offer medal. A strange motif. This one is also pretty cool. You have two uh, levels. We're gonna connect the two levels uh, with the slope uh, blocks. I'm gonna place the blocks here. Uh, we're going to also play some road bugs right there so that we can exit the upper level to drop down to the lower level. And we're going to claim all of the checkpoints in a, a clockwise pattern. So first this checkpoint, then this second one. I'm building the road very safe right there. This road block that allows me to drop down to, to the lower level. I could have placed it one block early, but then I could have gotten way more landing bugs. So I'm just playing it super safe in order to get the upper middle. And then up, we're just gonna get the uh, last checkpoint and uh, finish the map. Nice music as well. Very repetitive music, sadly. There's only like five or six music, I think, uh, in the game. Uh, Rabbit Holes, this is probably uh, one of the most nightmare to map, as you can see. We have a lot of uh, tunnel blocks uh, to place. So absolutely very easy to uh, miss out on the one block. And if you only realize uh, 40 seconds into a run, you are very, very sad. Trust me, it has happened uh, many times before when I was uh, hunting uh, this uh, category. Uh, so I'm going to uh, drop down this block right there. Try to not forget a single one of them. Uh, this one is uh, unforgettable. This one as well. Go down into ground surface. Play some of the roadblocks. Same here, the checkpoint order is not optimal for what we call, but this is the fastest to build for uh, this uh, speedrun. Uh, so usually the first checkpoint, this is the one that you're going to get straight away, that's easy peasy. And then second and third checkpoint are switched on the um, what we call route. So the what we call goes uh, way further to the left, gets the other checkpoint, then we'll go back to, to this checkpoint uh, with the corridor. I'm going to break right there in order to not slide out. Then I can drive into the grass. So the graphics for that game look pretty good for a 2005 game. I don't know what you think uh, in uh, in the chat. Oh, we got a nice play, but we got the checkpoint, so we can immediately uh, respawn and then uh, drive through the map uh, 
uh, into uh, the finish in 38 seconds. Up, there you go, nice. And uh, the three final tracks of the run before, oh, sorry. I started building it during my uh, test uh, test stream. So this one is called Final Speed. It's very similar to the uh, left speed and the right speed track. But this time we're gonna use a booster and we're gonna use it twice in order to build momentum. And so I need to place all of the blocks right there. Uh, the path on this map for keyboard and controller is different because it's way easier to slide out on, on keyboard. So Ventilator, well, my friend that uh, also ran this game, was using the, the keyboard strat and he was using about 3 to 4 seconds. And right there, we're just going to get a lot of speed up to 868 speed. Maximum speed in track mana is 1000 km per hour. Some people have managed to go over that limit, but it's mostly 1000. Uh, and now, look at this absolute monstrosity of the track right there, a uh, focus uh, where we have so uh, many blocks to play. So you have to be very, very precise. Uh, to aim uh, pretty well, which is not my uh, best uh, qualities uh, in uh, gaming. Uh, but, oh, there you go. As you can see, I just clicked slightly uh, off uh, track. Uh, we'll place uh, these uh, blocks. I'm going 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 8, 7, 6, 5 in uh, the uh, blocks uh, order. So uh, this one, okay, I forgot to place one block. So I'm, I'm going to have to place block 7 here. This is not my usual setup. I usually place the uh, block number six a bit earlier, but this will be absolutely fine. And final block will be block number seven. Up, oh, map looks good. We can start driving on it. And we have time for uh, two donations. Wonderful. I have a couple quick ones. We have $50 from Nightwig that says more track mania, more track mania. I also have $100 from Raider Monkey that says upgrade, please. And we did, in fact, meet that incentive upgrade. So thank you all so much. We also have $50 from Liftam1 that says more Trackmania, please. And a very quick $25 from Haiku Train, woo woo, that says puzzles 100%, stunts any percent, incentive met just in time. Thank you for Amazing. all of those fabulous donations. Yeah, thank you everybody for all of the donations. Shout out to all of the people donating to Médecins Sans Frontières and Doctors Without Borders. And boom, 48. I, I played it very, very safe. I usually drive it in 46 seconds. A final map of the puzzle section. We're going to uh, drive it uh, very uh, safe. So we're going to place it. We only have one type of block uh, on this map, which are these um, uh, sloped blocks. Uh, what we call Strat just um, goes through the checkpoint in a very weird order. Uh, but for uh, this um, speed run, we're just going to get the checkpoint from top to bottom. So I need to count so two checkpoints, two again here. After four checkpoints, I will drop down to the lower level. So I have to be very careful. That's four. Then I drop down to this level. I get six uh, checkpoints now. So one, two, three. Maybe you can count with me in the room. Five, six. I'm going to break right there, get the checkpoint. Uh, after that, this is a free checkpoint, so this is number two. Then this will be number three, and we'll drop down to the final level. So this point to do a quick 180, and uh, then uh, finish uh, the map. And then we'll go back to all of the maps where we didn't get the uh, offer medal, so that we can complete that puzzle 100% uh, run, hoping that I will not fail uh, two threats and that I will be precise with the inputs, but it should be all right. All right, 1575, that's more than enough. Uh, four of uh, medals. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Let's see how many uh, maps uh, we have remaining. So we got one here, and we've got one here, high and loose, and we've got two here. Uh, so I'm going to start with some of the easy ones. We're going to start with a double jump, hoping that we get some uh, nice uh, bounce. So need to be very precise here. I hope to land clean. Okay, I lost some speed, so I'm going to have to restart it. So yeah, some of these uh, off medals are pretty hard. These were made by uh, the creator of uh, Trackmania, Elis. And yeah, back then they were much harder than, than now. Now in the seasonal campaigns on Trackmania 2020, the offer medals are much easier, except for uh, the uh, last campaign that just released on July 1st, where we had one medal that was only met by uh, seven people after 12 hours, if I remember correctly. So that was absolutely insane. High and nose is going to be uh, a bit of a trouble. So what we're going to do is do uh, harbor ramps. Hope that we get good uh, RNG on this one. Remember, this is the track where we missed it by only 300 of a second. 
so we'll just hope that we can get it clean. Problem with this map is that the RNG part happens after 25 seconds, so that's a, a lot a lot of time. As you can see, we all we lost 0.5 seconds on my PB. I mean, my PB is 0.5 seconds behind, sorry. Really quickly, okay, just want to is... jump in and say we have gone up to $775,000 raised for Doctors Without Borders during this run. Thank you so much for all of your donations. Thank you very much. Maybe we can reach 777,777 to bring me more luck for the run. That would be cool. I yes, know. that sounds perfect. Donate for that. You can tell me when we reach it. <laughs> Absolutely will. All right, so this one we got it, nice. Uh, and then I think uh, I only have two remaining, which are the two artists. So we're going to start with base starter. I will have to drive very, very close to the wall on this one. We get an 8.37. Oh, I got his first try, let's go. Okay, my start of a run was very, very bad, especially on the second track where I had a lot of trouble, but we made it nice. I'm getting more and more confident. And this one, we're only missing point two. We have our ghost to help us to know if we are on track or not uh, to uh, get it. So I lost quite a bit of time right there. There you go, I can already save point 24. But my second half of the map was pretty good. I'm gonna full release here. Then tap acceleration, do the turnaround. Oh, and I slide out, okay. I slid out, so I'm gonna have to, to restart. This is one of the pretty hard turns uh, on the map. After that, we're going to switch to stunts, which will be radically different. I hope you will enjoy it. Okay, this is not very fast. Okay, I can get more speed from the exit. Should be good, nice. And full release. This is one of my favorite songs from the soundtrack of the game. And I tap, 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 tap. Okay, this, is, this was a slide out. Can I still make it? Nope, okay, this will not be enough. So we're going to restart again. All right, come on. Let's get it. I don't have the audience You've to cheer this. for me. But, uh... Okay. Yeah, this is not good, but I'm catching up here. And then I can I can get speed through here. Okay, I'm catching up, nice. Yeah, but I, I will need like insane amount of speed at the end. Come on, come on. I drove in now, this is not gonna be enough. Ah! <laughs> I'm missing one tenth now. Okay, come on. Just a, a few times and we'll get it. I just need to get a, a bit of a clean start uh, on, on that map. Okay, this is a drift, it's all right. Didn't lose me a lot of time. This is very clean. We'll break, then immediately steer like this. Point three ahead. Tap, 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 acceleration. And I think we have it. Okay, puzzle part of the run is done in uh, I don't know how many minutes. And we will uh, do uh, the uh, stun section right now, which will be uh, very, very different. So there you go, all uh, green medals uh, on uh, the uh, puzzle campaign. We can go to uh, stunts now. I hope you're ready to fly high in style, as uh, you said. Uh, so we are, we'll need to get all silver medals on these maps uh, and three gold medals as well. So the scoring system for stunts in Trackmania is very, very weird. You have different kinds of uh, stunts. You have straight stunts just like this. You can also have alley oop stunts where I will just switch the direction at the very last moment. So right there, I switch from left to right at the last moment, but it's still showed as a straight jump, sadly. I will get the gold medal on this one because it's a very easy medal to get. And just finishing right in time. Uh, so you want to chain uh, use stunts and to diversify them in order to get as many points uh, as possible. Uh, this one I have a setup for a silver medal. I'll try to get it first try. So full right, full left, up, and then land flat and hope to get 81 points. I got more than enough. Almost got 81 just with that single stunt. We can then uh, go through the finish line. So you have a timer. If you reach the finish line after the timer, you lose 10 points every second. And this is the moment that I fear the most in the entire run, a track called Chaos Fury. And this is the most random track you can ever think of. Last time I did this category in a marathon, I had to try it 10 times. So yeah, we'll just hope to get lucky. Uh, 100 points. I don't know if this is really good or not. We need 178. We're just gonna pray to get a good second jump, please. Please, 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 please. And that's unlucky, we have to restart. Sadly, we only got 168. Yeah, this is like super random. 
That is definitely not a step up on this. You just you gotta go straight and actually pray. So if she could send some uh, pray emote uh, in the, the Twitch chat to encourage me, maybe this would be good. And oh wait, maybe if I get lucky with a second stunt and I finish in time, this could be 178 points. I do need to go quick, but we could maybe do it. I just need to align myself pretty well. Like such, can I get some good flips? I'm missing it, but 8 points. I told you this track was an absolute nightmare. And this is only the silver medal, so imagine the gold and the offer medal. Uh, the um, founder of the game, uh, it is really cooked on all of these uh, stunt medal. Okay. 117, this is much better than what we got before. We only need 61 points, surely we'll get them. Surely we will get them. A lot of motion sickness with uh, the camera. Oh, this looks good. Come on. Oh, yes. Nice. We got it. Amazing. And now we can finish just in time. Whew. Okay, now we can sweat. As we can say in French, on peut respirer. And now we can go to uh, one of the later tracks. So we go to the second section. So track number four, five, and six. And in uh, the audience, uh, in Minneapolis, maybe you can share as well for the jumps. Like, pop, And we're gonna land a 540 uh, flip. If you keep on steering during the entire jump, this will be a master jump, but this is very, very difficult to achieve. So this is why you have to stop steering most of the time. So I'm just gonna stop steering right there. So, well, of course, on what we call runs, they always get the master's uh, stunts because they'll be start over and over again. On this one, we're gonna get the gold medal because it's very easy to get. So there you go. And we have one final gold medal to get. And after that, we will only need uh, the silver medals. Uh, strats for this map, uh, very easy if you want uh, to get a gold medal as well. You just do 180, keep on accelerating like this, you get 37 points. Then you will stop accelerating right as you enter the booster, so right about here. Keep accelerating here and then pull a 360 like so. Land on the booster and then finally do another 360. And this is your tutorial to get a gold medal on aqua planning. Uh, hopefully this is enough. Yeah, very good. Nice, we got it. Amazing. A boat ride. Uh, this one is also uh, pretty nice with a bay car. As you remember, that car is uh, very bouncy. I'm going to steer at the very last second right there. Do a 360. Hope to get enough point. Okay, 75 points is pretty, pretty good. I will aim about here, I think. Yep, this is good. And I've got 90, 97 points. Oh, okay. So I don't have to go for the flip, which is a bit RNG at the end. I just barely got the silver medal. Nice. Amazing. With seven seconds to spare. Wonderful. Um, just real quick, wanted to break in with a $500 donation from Luna Rexy. No comment, but thank you so much for your generous donation. And remember, uh, Rastats asked for that 777777 for all of the luck on these runs. So if you want to get your donations in for that, we would love to have them. Exactly. So I'm going to do a high loop right there. So I'm going to go to the left and then up steer to the right. Do a very nice loop. And as you have noticed, these are custom cars made especially for this one uh, by Min, a lovely member from the United States of America. So shout out to Min if he's uh, watching the run. He made some fantastic cars. I wanted uh, some cars with a sunrise theme because the name of the game is Trackman and Sunrise. And look at the beautiful lights that we have uh, in the back. Absolutely mesmerizing lights. We get enough point on this map. I could have done a, um, a 360 uh, in between the pillar and the rocket, but that was a bit risky. I just wanted to uh, get the silver medal and I got gold, so I'm fine with it. All right, this one, another Baker map. So what we're gonna do is a full 360 right there. What we call strat, you just hit uh, onto the wall of the building next to you and then hope to get a lot of points. Okay, I completely messed that up, but that is 100 points, so it could be good. I think this could be enough. Let me see. Uh, I need to think fast. I need 206 points. This is a very clean stunt. Yeah, oh, this is gonna be way more than enough. And then I just do another 360 at the end. Oh, this one is beautiful. Look at this. This is some Tony old stuff with cars, but still amazing. Uh, flip flop. Uh, oh, this one, cursed car. So I do have to break at a very specific moment. So I full accelerate, then up full release. 
And then left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. You only do one flip. I could do two flips, but sometimes they only do one and a half flips and you just land on your back. And then the last part is also a bit RNG. So I'm going to try to get some good luck, line up properly, get a good flip. Seems to be good. Then get another flip by jumping behind. And then I need... <laughs> uh, this is what we call the turtle in Trackmania. In some cases, you can save it, but with uh, this very heavy car, you cannot save it. So I will have to start again. Uh, very nice. Because yeah, on the stadium car, you can drive on uh, when you are on your back. It's a uh, very... Uh, a nice uh, mechanic. Slowly, uh, second time will be a charm. I just need to aim perfectly here. Okay, maybe if I stab like this and then jump like this, I can flip well. Okay, I don't have enough points, so I will have to restart. Sadly, I was not lucky with the point system. So this is one, uh, one of the tracks where I feared not getting it first try. I knew that this was going to be one of the hard tracks. 76 points is good. I only need 72 points now. So I will take it very safe and then get full speed here. And then just pray. There you go. This is a lot of speed. Amazing. Oh, no, no. What a flip. 107 points. Nice. Uh, and this is only silver medal. So imagine what you need to get in order to get off a medal. Uh, so now we are at the six last tracks of uh, the uh, stunt uh, campaign. This one pretty easy. I just need to aim pretty precisely. Gonna do a backflip and then one of the biggest stunts so far. Up, there you go. Gonna do a lot of flips. I think this is a 1080 stunt. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, 720, almost. Now I'm gonna do another small jump like this. 274, and now I just need to jump straight into the finish, and this will be more than enough. Uh, for silver medal, gonna release in order to not fly out the map, but don't release too early, else you would just hit uh, the top of uh, that uh, building. Uh, after that, we go to a medallion, uh, which is also a very easy map because you have two minutes, which will be very different from the map right after, which is one of the maps that I fear the most as well. You will see why. But this map, two minutes is more than enough time in order to get silver medal. So, first jump, we got 117 uh, points right there. When we're just going to do a classic uh, stunt, so we're just going to do a chain stunt like this. Going to release, try to aim properly, do the full stunt. Yeah, that was not the cleanest landing you've ever seen, but that will uh, do the trick. Then I'm going to do a Hallyu right there, and that is not going to be enough, sadly. Okay, and the car is turtling, so that was a bit unlucky. I said that this was easy, and then, of course, something that never happens before. It had happened before, but not, not often. So we'll have to, to start again. I can respawn on these maps if they have any uh, checkpoints, but I would lose 50 points for any uh, respawn, which is uh, why I uh, didn't uh, try it. I'm not even sure if there's a checkpoint or not. Maybe there's one at the start of the map and I didn't really see it. Okay, so I need to release right there because I'm jumping super far. There you go. This is clean. Keeping way more speed than before. Then this Hallyu will be much more clean. I'm going to stop it right there. not going to try to do another rotation. That would be a bit too uh, risky. After that, I can do another stunt for 70 points, I guess. Uh, let's do another stunt here. Okay, that landing will be hard. Come on. Nice. And we got more than enough points for silver medal. So I can just uh, drive back straight to finish line, which is right about here. And now, now the despair, the complete despair on this track called Spin Hell. It is literally a spin hell. So we will have some time to read donation in a moment. But first, I'll show you what I will try to do for the next three minutes on that map. So first, we're going to do backflip. After that is done, we're just going to go straight and keep doing the same stuff over and over again until we have enough point. Right there, I'm going to full steer to the left. Then hope for a good landing here, a good flip, and now you have time some donation. Wonderful. We have $20 from Salty Mentality that appropriately says, Mew! Mew! Thank you so much for that donation. We also have $25 from Tomato Walrus that says, We love GDQ. Thanks, Tomato Walrus. So do we. I also wanted to give you a quick update on that four-player Lunar Red Dark House incentive that we opened just before this run. 
we already have $1,193 for the $15,000 needed for that incentive. If you want to see really hard rabbit and steel, you definitely want to get your donations in for that. We also have a real quick $25 from Beastie that says, greetings from the UK, second year in a row attending this fantastic event, and it's always so much fun. Love to support such a great cause. Keep up the good work. All right, we are doing pretty good for now. We need 600 points in about three minutes. So I'm going to try to get uh, these remaining 200 points very cleanly. Okay, I need to get a good landing because this car can also... Oh, I almost had a heart attack and so do you did. All right, okay, nice. Now we're just going to keep on going. We need one minute to get 150 points. And a full seat right here. Hope to land clean here as well. Okay, and now I only need 40 points remaining. And we should get it first try. That is absolutely amazing. We should be well within estimate. This part the mistake that I did at the start. Oh, oh, we yeah, have a yeah, quick okay. $7 from Anonymous that says, let's get a $7 train going to hit that 777,777. Let's go! I'm only missing three points for there, so I'm just going to do one very simple jump. There you go, and just go straight to one of the finish line. There is one located right about here. And after that, it will be the last three tracks uh, of uh, the run. Maybe some of the uh, viewers in the chat can donate what an incentive. We would definitely love to see that. So go ahead and get those donations in. We are rapidly approaching that 777. And this track, a lot of RNG, especially on that first jump. Sometimes you get a double flip, sometimes you get a simple, simple flip or no flip at all. I just got it clean right there. I'm going to do a very safe stretch here. So this is the coast car. Clearly not the car made for stunt because as you remember, this is a very, very slow car. Got 190 points, then this stunt will be deterministic for the end of the run. Just gonna hope to get a clean landing. Gonna stabilize the car as much as I can. Okay, nice, we've got enough point. So that would be a first try, amazing. So yeah, I was feeling very shaky at the start of the run. I've done plenty of marathon runs before, but the last one was a long time ago. So yeah, you, you, can, uh, you can indeed uh, get shaky, even without the pressure of a cloud. But now it's uh, we are doing better, and we will get the two final uh, tracks of uh, this uh, run uh, with first a press forward uh, start, so that we can easily get 170 points. So I just can raise the controller, not do anything, and wait to get some absolute three points, or maybe it's 273. I think. No, it's we'll see, we'll see. I don't really remember how many points we get. It is indeed 273 points. Uh, up, I'm going to switch the camera right there. Then we're going to do some high loops here. Get a lot of speed. Okay, I'm going to try to aim here. Can I jump well? Nice. So you have different cameras in the game. This was camera number three, which is called the interior camera. This is camera number one, which is uh, pretty far from the car. And then you have camera number two that is a bit closer to the car. Right there, the game wants us to go to the left, but just to play it safe, I will just do a jump on this uh platform so that is gonna be oh that is gonna be a huge jump surely the u biggest jump in the entire run and i could have done even gone for even one more flip and after that is done i can directly drop down to here and then i have more than enough point for silver medal and cross the uh, finish line just uh, like so boom 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 all right giant pinball which is gonna be the final map uh, there's a bit of adaptation on this map. What we're going to do is an air brake right there, just when the car becomes, I've done a full uh, backflip uh, or front flip. I don't really remember what that was. Land flat here. After that is done right there, we're just going to do a chain a flip here. I can probably uh, stop rotating here so can, I can adjust. I'm probably landing too far. Yep, I'm going to have to restart. I was a bit too greedy right there. I just uh, got a bit too much speed. So up, air brake right there, backflip. Okay, this is not going to be a good backflip, so I'm going to restart again. So this is not press forward. You really need to get a, a good timing. There you go. The car is tilted a bit more uh, towards the ground, so that is good. Now I can land here. I'm going to do a very simple jump here then. Okay, this should be more than enough. I just do the jump, stop steering, and then aim. 
full release. Full, 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 full release in order to land right about here. Then go straight, switch back the camera. I'm going to release here, then do a 180 right about there. Line up the car because I need to be completely straight right about. Then I'm going to break, not go on that upper platform. What I'm going to do here is another stunt. So we need 828 points, so this is good. We've got 662, only one minute remaining, which will be more than enough. Then another jump like so, that is going to be 759. Need to be pretty clean here. 790, and for the final huge stunt of the run, there you go, you can cheer, and then we will go straight into the finish line with uh, finishing 360. So that was uh, Chuck Minas Sunrise a Puzzle, 100% instant, any percent, that is time. I hope you all enjoyed that run, despite the uh, <laughs> sloppy start, we should say. But there you go, we have finished that stunt campaign. Thank you so, so much. Would, Is there anything else you want to say before we go? Uh, yeah, of course. I would like to shout out the entire Trackmania community, of course, of the different uh, restreams, especially the French restream, where my friends Cousin and Spitzoff are uh, commenting uh, the run uh, right now. Uh, this game, I didn't mention it, but this is a very old game, so you can't play it on Windows 10 because of some patch issues, but someone made a new patch for the game and now you can download it. Uh, so you can download it for free. It's one of the best Trackmania games, even though it was released back in 2000. 2005. It's mostly a solo game. You have the race tracks, which are the normal Trackmania tracks. Then the platform tracks, where you need to finish the tracks with the least amount of uh, tries possible. You have a lot of different platform jumps. And then you have two different game modes that are very, very weird and very unique, called Crazy and uh, Extreme Race. So yeah, very good game. And then, of course, if you want to get into the newer games, you have Trackmania 2020, which you can try for free right now. Uh, download it either on Steam or uh, Ubisoft. So thank you very much to GDQ for having me for a third time on one of my uh, favorite uh, categories. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you another time. Happy Independence Day. Bye bye.